Now, let's check on my boy, Queen Cafals. <laughs> Queen Kafals. I mentioned this last stream that Kafals was trying to quit being a political streamer because as it turns out, he's really bad at it. And whenever you throw punches at people like Hassan, all other people have to do is point out the fact that you groom children, sent collars to underage boys in your discord and tried to facilitate the sending of illicit hormones to, to underage people and teach them how to use cryptocurrency to buy drugs without being found out by their parents. Uh, and that you were involved in something called the Queen's Fart Throne Findom Pornography, and that you were also a communist, but you stole money from the Communist Party to buy drugs with, um, and that you're generally just one of the worst fucking people that have ever walked the earth. So, really hard to be a political commentator when you have literally so many skeletons in your closet that they're just toppling out. And now that your ex is accusing you of being a violent, <laughs> abusive mongoloid, um, you really just check all the boxes of being a total cunt. Uh, without the cunt, of course, just being a, a, a dick, I guess. A dickless dick. Uh, Keffels has again reiterated, the online left is one of the most cantharous spaces on the lower case I internet. I want nothing to do with 99% of you, and I have become a worse person by a... <laughs> no, that's a lie. That's a lie. Keffels trying to say, I've become a worse person. Uh, by proximity to anything, bro, unless you're like in proximity to, to the Green River Killer or something, unless you're in proximity to um, the Goon Clown, maybe, maybe you become a worse person. But Hassan, I mean, I got to give Hassan credit. At least he's not Keffels. Uh, but he says, I'll continue to support what I believe in, but I hate these incredibly smug people. Who are for the most part morally lucky what what does that even mean what does morally lucky mean like they, they don't have any morals but they just so happen to be better people on accident like it just never occurred to hassan piker to send collars to underage people on discord it never occurred to hassan piker to become i mean he would trust me he would have done it he would have done findom fart porn there would be a hassan piker video with his balls and asshole on the screen when mm, you like this don't you <laughs> It would be like that. If only he had come up with it, though. But he was lucky. He was fortunate enough that the idea never crossed his mind. Otherwise, that would have happened. <laughs> uh, he also says, I'm not doing politics streams anymore or talking about lowercase i internet drama. He just said the exact same thing. I'm tired of fighting people. And honestly, I feel like I was becoming toxic. I'm putting the Keffel's persona on the self. You can call me Clara. I'm going to focus on the positive things in my life. Okay. So I mentioned that he kicked this idea around on, um, on Twitter or on his stream or whatever, that he was just going to give up like everything that he's worked on and just reboot. Cause it's so bad. Like the brand is so toxic that there's no point trying literally toxic. There's no point trying to salvage it. And he was thinking of recreating himself as a true crime uh youtuber which is just the worst fucking idea i could ever think of like true crime is so saturated and all the big cases that people find really interesting are already covered like three times i can watch the same story on matt orchard channel or jim can't swim and then uh there's no oh iwu iwu what's new iwu crew and then um uh 48 hours. I can watch the same rape and murder on eight different channels already and get vaguely new information for each one of them. So Keffels is not going to add anything. Part of the, you know, those things are hard to make. There's a lot of research that goes into it. Ewu does, has gotten a lot. I I've given Ewu shit, um, which is explore with us by the way, but they, um, I, I make fun of them because in their very early videos, they paid the spooky voice narrator to say, what's new, Iwu crew, as like the intro. like, And then they'll go, today we're talking about a rape and murder. This mother and her children were all sodomized to death. <laughs> it's just like to totally, totally inappropriate. But they've gotten a lot better, and now they do like FOIAs for court documents and stuff. So sometimes they have stuff on their channel that the other channels don't have. Um... Anyways, this whole tangent is just that the market's saturated. There's lots of channels. They do a good job. Um, 
and then you have 48 hours which is actual like professional quality with interviews and and all sorts of stuff there's no way that kethels can compete in this space it's just going to be a fucking disaster and quote erat demonstrandum um he has started his scared awake youtube channel which has nine followers as of today but we all got to start somewhere um and this is his intro trailer on his youtube video with 822 subscribers Okay, let's rewatch this. Put this down a little bit. No, watch this. Okay. So we're in a dark, dank room. It's a 3D rendering. There's something scary on TV. It's like a montage of like spooky stuff. It kind of reminds me of, um, have you ever seen Undertale footage? There's that TV screen that's at the very end of the game if you kill Flowey. And it's just like spooky stuff on like the monitor. It's just like generic horror trope shit. Um, and then it says scared awake and i i don't know I, there's something kind of aesthetic but i think the 80s aesthetic because i'm playing the finals right now and that kind of has like that 80s aesthetic of um like the the C, cr monitor tv with like the scan lines and shit like that kind of thing is really popular now with bright neon colors so that's like a resurgence of 80s shit but then okay we get this I did not. Oh, okay. I cheated through Undertale. I didn't like the combat, so I just played through it one time with cheats on. I did play all the way, and I killed Flowey at the end. I actually did a pacifist run, um, but I got a neutral ending in my playthrough of Undertale because apparently you can't just be a pacifist to get the the pacifist ending. You have to um, roam. You, you literally have to go back to an earlier part of the game and sexually romance the skeleton and feed him spaghetti in order to get the the good ending so when i found that out after my playthrough i never went back and finished undertale with the pacifist ending because uh, i i could not fucking be bothered to do that anyways my point is is that uh there's like this this um there's a sequence and it's it's competent like i understand what it's trying to do i get it oh sorry hamster no, no longer needed um, I, I get what it's doing, but this is the funny part. Okay, this actually made me laugh out loud. So it scans up, and then it says, scared awake. And then what does it do right after this? Hard cut. Hard cut. Black screen. Default Windows font. Two of them. No sound effects. This one's not even fucking uppercase letter. And it's just like, I, so this guy went to, to Fiverr. And he paid somebody a hundred dollars for a generic five second long YouTube intro sequence. And then he went to Windows Movie Maker or whatever the fuck he has and just put in a black slide with a text inlay that is not stylized and it's just Arial or whatever the fuck is default on Windows. And then he just rendered that shit and threw it up on YouTube to tease people into watching his thing. And that's supposed to be that's the level of effort that he's putting into this. And he's going to try to compete with like Jim Can't Swim or Iwu. Uh, hello, you are going to be fucking miserable. You, you, Keffels cannot do an honest day's work. His entire life has been spent trying to find a way around doing an honest day's work. Um, went from druggie on welfare to communist politician, which is not a job. Being a politician is not a job. Uh, to being a fart fetishist which was also not successful to being a children's YouTuber, to being a political YouTuber, to being a activist. And that was their most successful thing was being an activist. And then once they failed at that also, they tried to do politics again, failed at that because they <laughs> he did a lot of crack. <laughs> because they did $100,000 of crack. <laughs> and then... <laughs> Now, now he's got it figured out. It's going to be the spooky YouTube content. What's new, Scared Awake crew? Today, we're going to be talking about an innocent trans woman who was raped and murdered. <laughs> oh, glorious. Wonderful. Uh, someone, I did not see this, but uh, it's crazy. Uh, Catherine Sorrenti, who is... Keffels' mom says, happy 11th birthday to your vagina at Keffels. Have a great day. She then repeats, happy 11th vagina anniversary, Clara, at Keffels, my babe. To which Keffels replies and says, 
I love you, mom, forever and always. So I don't know. Maybe those people who hate women have a point because this is some of the most fucked up shit I've ever seen in my entire life. Um, I don't know what happens to a mother to allow their child to cut off their body parts and then 11 years later celebrate their vagina versary. Like, are you are you genuinely psychotic? What do like? Did your parents murder your pets? What broke in your brain to make you like this? Don't try to give me that peace and love shit. This is not what a loving, supportive parent looks like. Um, now's a good time. I brought this up during the Keffel stream as well, by the way. Uh, Keffel says, normalize MILF Twitch streamers. And then having a favorite MILF Twitch streamer is by far the best way to satisfy your disgusting, hidden Freudian urge to fuck your mother and kill your father. And he also says, in this house, we fuck moms and keep it messy. So I don't know what's going on here. I'm very concerned about this vagina versary. We need to send the, <laughs> um, the Green County Police Department up into Canada to investigate and get another motherfucking because I, I'm very suspicious about this. Um, and by the way, Kefl's blocked me. Now, this is not noteworthy because he blocked me. Like, whatever. Um, I expect to be blocked. And to be honest, I block a lot of people who are fucking just trying to get attention from me. Because I don't want to see their messages. They're trying to make me, like, irritated. Why would I give them my attention? However, Kefl's has never blocked me up until this point. Kefl's was very happy to see my messages, to show my messages on stream, to comment on my messages... And then, apropos of nothing, in the last week, for some reason, he just decided, this Josh guy, I'm done with him. Uh, it's, it's weird to me. It's like, is this a part of his growing? Is this a part of his his becoming a, a scared awake streamer and leaving politics behind? No more reading tweets from people I don't like. I will block everybody who I don't like now. Don't understand. <laughs> All right, so that's your your Queen Falls update. Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice. <laughs>